ใช่แล้วก็So guys, let's start reviewing the history of portraiture paintings. So, do you know who is Rafael de Casal? Aside him from being the painter of the portrait of San Pedro Calanzón, well, Rafael de Casal is a famous religious theme painter who has done portrait for Jesus over the years, including that is the society's founder, Saint Ignatius of Loyola School of Theology in Quezon City. Wow, such an artist! The old painting in Rafael of Rafael. I mean, of Rafael de Casal portrays a very young version of Calungson, holding a large book and a cross made from two twigs tied together. Calungson is in the shore with three children, a palm tree, and a vegetation background. It is said by Father Jose Kilong Kilong that the three children in the painting represent the Holy Trinity, which is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Portrait is very meaningful. I thought it was just a simple portrait. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's not all. There are palm trees in the painting that represents the martyrdom of the teenager who died with his companion, Jesuit priest Diego Luis de San Vitore, in the village of Tumhon in Guam in Morianas Islands in 1672. Who is that teenager who died with his companion at Guam? Well, that teenager was San Pedro Calzon and his companion Diego Luis de San Vitore. Now, I'm starting to get curious about the story of San Pedro Calzon. Yeah, so let's start our story telling to know why did Rafael del Casal portrait San Pedro Calzon? Who is San Pedro Calzon? San Pedro Calzon is also known as San Pedro Calunsar is a Roman Catholic young Filipino saint and was a migrant sacristan and missionary catechist who, along with the Spanish Jesuit missionary Diego Luis de San Vitore. Mm, is that so? Calunsar is the second Filipino to be declared a saint by the Roman Catholic Church. Hi guys. So. Now we will going to tell you the story about Kalungsod. 
Okay, Calongsod and his companion, Diego Luis San Vittori, went to Guam to catechize the native cameras. Missionary life was difficult as provision did not arrive regularly. The jungles and terrain was difficult to traverse and the islands were frequently devastated by typhoons. While in Guam, Calongsod preached Christianity to the camera of people through catechism. But when a Chinese named Choco, who is a criminal from Manila, was who was exiled in Guam, started to spread rumors about the baptismal water was poisonous and is the reason why some sickly Camero infants who were baptized eventually died. And many people actually believe the story. So when the wife of Chief Matapang gave birth to a daughter, Colonel Sod and San Vitar immediately went to baptize the child. But because of the influence of Choco, Matapang strongly opposed because he was angry with God. But the child was baptized by the Kalungsod and San Vitare with the consent of her Christian mother when the chief is not around. When Matapang learned about his daughter's baptism, he became even more furious. He violently heard spears first at Pedro. Kalungsod was hit in the chest by the spears and fell on the ground, then Hero immediately charged toward him and finished him off with a machete blow to the head. And after Kalung Sod was San Vitore. Mm -hmm. Matapang took San Vitore's crucifix and pounded it with a stone wrist, blaspheming God. Both assassins then denuded the corpse of Kalung Sod and San Vitore tied long stone to their feet, brought them on their prose, and threw them in the water. The Catholic Church considered Calungsod's martyrdom as committed in odium fedi, or in hatred of the faith, referring to the religion's persecution and endured by the person in evangelization. The positive thing about the portrait is it's very meaningful and has multiple focal points. It really expresses the religion of Christianity and reminds us of the one saying risk everything for his religion. The bad side of the portraiture of the of Rafael del Casal is that that portrait was only based on the imaginations of the painter, which is it doesn't show any features of San Pedro Calungsod. Hi guys! Hi guys! At this point in time, we're going to give our ratings about the portraiture of San Pedro Calungsod by Rafael del Casal. For me, I will rate it as 9 is to 10 because the whole portrait is beautiful. It, it, it is uh, have lots of meaning, especially in the Christianity here on earth. For I mean, oh yeah. For me, my rating is 8 because the the portrait doesn't show the real features of San Pedro Calungsod. And I will rate the portrait of San Pedro Calungsod 9 to 10 because it is very meaningful and religious even though it, it, it is only based on um, imagination and research of San Rafael del Casal. I mean. um, it, he still portrayed, portrays San Pedro Calungsod who risked his life for his religion. Now, I will recommend to you guys to visit the portraiture of San Pedro Calungsod that was being displayed in one of the altars of the Archdiocesan Shrine of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus located at Cebu City. <laughs>